Hey guys, it's Trina and this is another audiobooks review video. So I'm going to be reviewing the last five audiobooks that I have finished this year. And just as a reminder, I'm only talking about the narration of these books, like reviewing it and how it added to or took away from the reading or listening experience. And I have actually already reviewed every single one of these books in like a reading wrap up. So if you want to hear me talk about plot, characters, overall enjoyment and rating of the book itself, you can definitely see my last reading reading wrap up, but today I'm just talking about the narration. So first up, I have recently listened to One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. It's a YA thriller novel about five kids that have detention together. One of them dies, the other four are suspects who did it. And so because there are four points of view, there are actually four narrators for this audiobook. And the narrators are Kim My Guest, McLeod Andrews, Shannon McManus, and Robbie Damon. Now, just as kind of trivia, Kim I Guess and McLeod Andrews both also narrated Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, which I have reviewed recently. I've listened to it this year. I love both of these narrators, and so I went into this book like really excited because I was like, oh, I know these narrators, and I really love their previous work. And guys, they did a fantastic job in this book. I thought the other two narrators did as well. This was a debut novel and I know that sometimes debut authors do have trouble creating distinct, you know, character voices. I don't know if that's the case in the print book, but I have to say I really enjoyed having four unique narrators for these main characters. Now a lot of you may know I really disliked the book, One of Us is Lying. I didn't like it. I didn't like the story or where it went. I found it a little bit harmful to myself. I've written up a full Goodreads review on it. I've talked about it in a reading wrap up. So if you want to know my issues, I will point you to those. Probably I'm not going to be doing a solo review because I just kind of am tired of talking about this book. But as much as I disliked the book, the narration was fine. All four of these narrators, they did a great job. They brought the story to life. They did their jobs well. So I want to make it clear that although I did not like the book, the narrators were just doing their jobs, you know, and they did a great job. So if you're interested in this book and you want to know if it's any good on audio, yeah, I would recommend the audio format. Then I listened to Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shannon McGuire, which is the sequel slash prequel to Every Heart a Doorway. This one is following some of the side characters from the first book and we're given like all of their backstory about their world and stuff. This is like a series about teenagers who have gone off into like fantasy realms and then they're spit back out into the real world and they're trying to deal with that. And so this book is following these two characters and what their experience in their realm was. And this audiobook was actually narrated by the author herself, Shannon McGuire, and that was a really cool experience. Cynthia Hopkins narrated the first book, Every Heart a Doorway, and I loved her narration. And so when I saw that she wasn't doing this book as well, I was a little bit disappointed. But Shannon McGuire did a great job, and it was really cool because I don't think I ever heard an author narrate their own story that was fiction before but she knew the story and she's a great storyteller vocally as well so again I love both of these narrators and I don't want to choose and say one was better than the other because they're both fantastic I love it it was great it was amazing I would definitely recommend the audio format for these books then I listened to Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare which is the second book in the Dark Artifices series which is one of the series in her overall Shadowhunters universe so it's a YA urban fantasy series and this the audiobook was narrated by James Marsters, who is the actor that played Spike in the TV show Buffy. His voicing was really good. He did distinct voices for each character. He was doing the most, like going a little bit over the top for certain characters. He would do like really high-pitched squeaky voices for some like fae characters or really gravelly voices for some of the like monsters. It was a very interesting reading experience. So like most of the voices were just normal sounding and then he like went over the top for some of the more fantastical creature voicing and I really enjoyed it. Now I did actually have to switch from the audiobook to the print format of this book because my audiobook expired on me when I was about 100 pages from the end. So I finished up the book the last 100 pages or so in the print format and it was really seamless to switch formats in the middle of the book. I really enjoyed both formats. I don't know that I would recommend one over the other because they're both great, they're both fine, but I personally have been really enjoying listening to this series on audiobook. Then I listened to Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index written by Julie Israel. This is a YA contemporary book about a girl who's recently lost her sister and she discovered that her sister left a letter behind and she's trying to figure out who this letter was to so that she could deliver it. So there's kind of 
of mystery edge to it, but mainly it's just a contemporary, especially dealing with loss. The audiobook narrator was Abigail Ravash, and I had a really great time with this audiobook. I've never heard this narrator before or anything, but I definitely want to find more audiobooks that she has narrated because I enjoyed her narration so much. She did a little extra things that I don't hear a lot of narrators do. Like when the book says the character laughed, she would read that in the narration and then she would actually laugh when the dialogue started. Or if a character sighed, she would sigh as she was saying the line. So she was definitely more expressive than most narrators that I listened to and I really enjoyed that. I didn't find it distracting at all. It just made this character feel much more real to me. I would definitely recommend this book on audio. There is a little bit of formatting in the print version of the book that you will miss out on. Just like some handwritten letters or lists and stuff like that, but it's no big deal. Some of the things that are in list form in the book you could clearly tell that they were in list form when the narrator read them. So I had no trouble with the way that things like that translated to audio. I really enjoyed it and would definitely recommend checking this book out on audio if you can. The last audio book that I am reviewing today is A Flame in the Mist by Renee Adia. This is a YA fantasy story. It is the start of a new duology and it is set in a Japan inspired world and it's about a girl who is seeking revenge so she dresses up like a boy in order to infiltrate this notorious black clan that she hates. I chose to listen to this book on audio because I had a lot of trouble getting into Renee's previous series, The Wrath and the Dawn, and I wanted to give her another chance, but I wanted to listen to the audiobook to just kind of help me along. This audiobook was narrated by Nancy Wu. Personally, I felt like her narration sounded quite robotic and granted I listened to it on like 1.6 times speed. There were times I would be listening and she, like her voicing of it reminded me of a less computerized version of the AI villain from the video game Portal. It's not the same voice actor. I haven't heard anything else that she's narrated so I don't have a good accurate gauge of of her voicing. Her character voicing on the other hand was fine. It was mainly just like the reading the long, long, long passages of descriptions that sounded very monotone and robotic. It's not the worst I've ever heard. I have called several audiobooks that I've reviewed monotonous and robotic. It's definitely not the worst. Um, but it just prevented me from having any real connection to it and although I didn't enjoy the narration, I also know that a large part of why I did not enjoy this book was because of the world building and descriptions and characterizations themselves. So I don't want you to think that the only reason I disliked this book was because of the audio format that I chose and because I didn't like the narration. It was admittedly a combination of the two. I don't think I would have enjoyed this book in any other format. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. Not my favorite. So those are the last five audiobooks that I have finished and if I had to recommend just one of them and tell you guys which of these five was my favorite, I think I'm gonna have to go with Down among the Six and Bones by Shannon McGuire. I think that the audio format definitely fits the storytelling quality of these books, so I have really been enjoying them. They are some of my favorite audiobooks that I've listened to this year overall. So out of these five, Down Among the Sticks and Bones was my favorite. It's the one that I would recommend the most highly to you guys if you're looking for something to pick up next. If you have listened to anything recently that you really loved, please share that with me down below, or if you've listened to any of these books and just want to chat more about the narration, or if you can recommend me anything else that these narrators have done that you enjoyed, I would definitely love to hear that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the comments. Bye!